Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is Friday afternoon. We have a nine race card today. We've got the Rainbow Six starting to build very nicely. And we have the Stronic Five. Let's take a look at the track and weather conditions. Racing at Gulfstream. From the center, Hera gets a sharp beginning and immediately establishes control over Fuzia, who's down at the inside and moving closer. In between horses, Hole Bodemeister is an early third as Fuzia lacks racing room and is tapping on the brakes pretty severely there. Danny Hill's out wide on the course. Then back to tantalizing Gao with flight to Shanghai between horses and Aki Laki north toward the inside. The trailer is Audrey. The leader is Hera. Hera's a half length in front of Danny Hill, who races from second. After some early trouble, Fuzia has settled better third at the inside. Followed fourth by tantalizing Gal as acting lucky improves. Dropping back quickly, whole Bodemeister. And Audrey tries to get started ahead of flight to Shanghai with a quarter of a mile left to go. Hera at three to one under Edgar Zayas comes away with a sizable lead. It's now three and a half. Fuzia is second toward the outside, acting lucky from between horses. Danny Hill, flight to Shanghai into the clear for a slice, but Hera's well clear with less than an eighth to go, and it's all about Hera, the daughter of hard spun for Antonio Sano, a gate-to-wire winner of the Friday opener. Good run from flight to Shanghai. She gets up for second, and Fuzia holds third over whole Bodemeister, who found renewed energy to get fourth. 105 and three. And they're up. From between horses, Slick Star wins the break. Enzo Express hustled forward on the rail, and congrats that moves up on the far outside. Congrats that will cross over from the high draw and lead a half a length over Enzo Express, who's back to second, Slick Star in early third. Up to fourth goes our boy Evans as Enzo Express was on heels and shuffled back. Then Dark Ages, who improves, and the two at the back, Freddie Soto and Lawyer Drill. Around the far turn they go. Congrats that engaged again by Slick Star, three wide. Enzo Express tries to work between horses. He's had a rough run of it. Out wide, and our boy Evans patiently handled at this stage is Dark Ages, looking to get to the clear and rally about four lengths off the lead with less than a quarter of a mile to go. Slick Star on the outside. Congrats that toward the rail. Loose and charging. Here's Dark Ages storming home down the center. Enzo Express up the rail. Final eighth of a mile. Congrats that bracing for the on-running Dark Ages, who's up for the lead now. Dark Ages surges past, and Dark Ages is a wrapped-up even money winner. Congrats that second. Slick Star third. Enzo Express finished fourth. Run Happy is simply super. He polishes off an outstanding campaign with a dominant victory in the Malibu. No medication, no problem. Run Happy, standing at Claiborne Farm.
and they're up. Good start in the center for the favorite first Navy Admiral who's headed out to an early advantage. Midnight Traveler moves to claim second. Away third is Terpiel. On the inside in Brother Sky is an early fourth. Back to fifth goes Dreaming Thousand. Then Caramel Chip and no speed at all from Mondays with Mike. He's last of all as they round the far turn. They're three across the course early. With the advantage, it's now First Navy Admiral by an neck. Three wide Terpiel in between horses, Midnight Traveler. Armeo getting after Dreaming Thousand to try to launch a bit. He's up into fourth, getting around Brother Sky. Two back to Caramel Chip, and then Mondays with Mike. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. First, Navy Admiral held together nicely by Camacho. Turns for home on top. On the outside of Midnight Traveler, widest of all, Dreaming Thousand. Toward the rail, Caramel Chip. Far back and closing Mondays with Mike. Eighth of a mile to go. First, Navy Admiral the target. How about Caramel Chip for an upset possibility? Surging between horses for Fanny Olsen. Here's Caramel Chip with good energy. Caramel Chip at 20 to 1 is in time. First, Navy Admiral second. Midnight Traveler third. Then Dreaming Thousand and Mondays with Mike. And they're off. Our Ninja JK with very quick reflexes off the gate, and he leads early from USS Colton. And the two favorites hook up and get acquainted very early on here. They've opened three on King Andres, who races on the far outside. Mighty Fast is between horses. Trini Energy is along the rail, and the trailer is Sultan's Crown. Five furlongs left to run. Our Ninja JK has conceded the lead to USS Colton, who leads a length and a quarter. Down at the inside, Trini Energy is now third. Back to fourth goes King Andres. Back to fifth and mighty fast and no speed from Sultan's Crown. The opening quarter was 22-3 and three as they round the far turn. It's USS Colton on top of length and a half. Our Ninja JK tries to get on term second, but he's losing ground to the leader. Back to the inside and Trini Energy is third. These top three have five or six on mighty fast, then King Andres with a quarter of a mile left to go. USS Colton has this to throw away. Our Ninja JK with renewed energy is coming after him again. Second, Trini Energy with a rail run third. Three sixteenths to go. USS Colton now an eighth of a mile from home and three on top. Our Ninja JK just cannot make up any ground. Trini Energy is back to third, then Mighty Fast and Sultan's Crown. But it's a gate-to-wire victory for USS Colton. And Amisael Jaramillo, they'll win by four in the end. Our Ninja JK was second. Sultan's Crown did some good late running to get third. Trini Energy was fourth and then Mighty Fast. And they're off. Level beginning. Looking for a leader here, Burley Boy and In Conveyance from outside gates are sent along. In fact, In Conveyance is going to cross and clear rather easily here and move to an early advantage. Splitting horses, Lucky Mike at the inside strong ending. Burley Boy's out wide and race favorite looking at Roses is between horses with the early trailer City Park as they link up with the main course. They complete the opening quarter with In Conveyance in front. Looking at Roses is their second. Trejos has hold of strong ending who's tugging nearest the inside third. Burley Boy is now fourth back to Lucky Mike who's on hold and two and a half to City Park. So in conveyance, left the rail open for strong ending, and he won't squander that opportunity. He secures the rail spot and is up to challenge for the lead. Looking at Roses is now third. Burley Boy is asked to quicken while fourth. Back to fifth, Lucky Mike, and City Park is last. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Three furlongs left to run. Strong ending on the inside leads narrowly. Up on the outside in conveyance is second. Looking at Roses, a length and a half off the lead while third. Lucky Mike still sharply in hand while fourth for Vasquez. He'll have a major say in the outcome. Trying to run home from the back is City Park with a quarter of a mile left to go. Trejos hasn't moved his hands yet on strong ending. He has the lead. Now looking at Roses comes to call from the back in City Park. Lucky Mike is still right there after three quarters. And 111 flat, it's
strong ending in front. Looking at Roses, taking a shot on the outside second. Back to third, City Park with Lucky Mike in deep stretch. Looking at Roses, just will not take no for an answer. And looking at Roses is up for the lead. Looking at Roses delivers at seven to five. Strong ending second, third, Lucky Mike, fourth, City Park. Out the post, and they're off. Valiant Virtue wins the break, and he'll have an early advantage from Sublime Appeal and Didn't Do It, who are away second and third. The veteran Gray, my point exactly, is next at the rail racing in fourth. Followed fifth by Rhythmia, then it's back to Ambassador Jim inside of Till the End, and the early trailer is Unlock the Potential. They make their way around the first turn with Longshot Didn't Do It on top. He leads by length and a quarter, my point exactly, nearest the inside. Racing wide on the course is uh, both Sublime Appeal and Valiant Virtue. On hold nicely is Rhythmia. He's mid-flight. Then it's back to Ambassador Jim, followed by Till the End, and two and a half to the trailer. Unlock the potential. They make their way through the opening quarter in a strong 23 seconds flat. Didn't do it. On the comeback, try has the lead. Sublime Appeal is second. My point exactly is third. Valiant Virtue losing ground fourth. Rhythmia's between horses. Then down at the inside, Ambassador Jim, followed by Till the End, and the trailer remains on lock. The potential. They make their way to the far turn. The half mile was wicked, 46-2. and two. The pace has been swift and didn't do it, has the lead. It didn't do it on top of half a length. Sublime Appeal is second, my point exactly. Third at the inside, back to fourth goes Valiant Virtue. Rhythmia has had a good flow into the race. He'll need some place to work. Out wide on the course, unlocked the potential, gets rolling alongside till the end. After three quarters and 110 flat, many chances here. Up on the far outside, here comes till the end. Let go for a run down the center, unlock the potential from last is charging. So the two back markers have taken over. It's Till the End who leads a length and a half. Unlock the potential gaining late, but Till the End has the lead and Till the End and Marcos Manessas will do it. Second, unlock the potential. Rhythmia third, Ambassador Jim fourth. And they're off. Check to last at the start was double advantage. Also, just because I feel like it's slow to go. Quick to go, our Uncle Eric, but Girolamo's attack will go after him early, and the two favorites hook up and go quickly. Harper settles down in third with Sandy's Blaze at the rail fourth. Back to fifth is Vazar Academy. Then it's a length and a half to Louis Legrand ahead of double advantage, and the trailer is just because I feel like it. Half a mile from the finish, Girolamo's attack with the rail position, our Uncle Eric right up alongside. These two went 22 flat for a quarter. Harper trying to parlay a good trip from third. A gap of five to Sandy's Blaze together with Vazar Academy. On the far outside, Louis Legrand sliding through inside just because I feel like it and trailing his double advantage. A quarter of a mile left to go, and our Uncle Eric is the first to give way. Girolamo's attack, bracing for the onslaught of Louis Legrand, who circles up on the outside. Harper's with them. Long shot just because I feel like it cuts the corner. Looks to angle for an opportunity. There's an eighth of a mile still to go. It's Harper, who now goes to take a neck advantage. Just because I feel like it splits horses. Louis Legrand is next. Late run from Sandy's Blaze for a slice, but Harper's close to home with the lead, and Harper will win under Miguel Vasquez. Second is Louis Legrand. Third was just because I feel like it in 111 and 2.
12 as they roll into the backstretch. Swirling Candy begins nicely. A much better start indeed for Poseidon's Passion on the far outside. Song River has speed down at the inside and Fly On Angel mixing it up. Three across the course early. Splitting horses for Gyra with main attraction nearest the inside and Tony's Rose out wide. A gap of four to Mrs. Maisel and the trailer is Classy Beast. Into the far turn they go. From between horses, Swirling Candy has challenges on both sides. Nearest the inside, Song River, three wide, Fly On Angel. These top three continue to battle. They're open four now on a wide-running Poseidon's Passion with Tony's Paw Rose between horses. For Gyra and Main Attraction are next. Then back to the outside, Classy Beast tries to rally. Still many chances here. It's Swirling Candy. Asked to get away from him with an eighth of a mile to go. Main Attraction loose and charging for Gyra down the stand side. She begins to make up ground, and she's the one to recognize as they come past the 16th pole. Here comes Fujira on the outside. Fujira is in time. Swirling Candy is second. Up third is Classy Beast, then Main Attraction. Action. Post and runners away. Goodbye, Greg. Away quickly. The gray Pemaquid Pete has speed. Apache Brave put into play early today. He's four wide on the outside. Kyle mixing it up three wide as they complete the opening eighth of a mile. Behind the speed is Cryogenic two in front of the Virginian who's outside of Mr. Nappy. Outpaced is Pool Boy Charlie and Shiny Copper Penny is last of all as Apache Brave is in front. Apache Brave leads Kyle three parts of a length. Cryogenic on the scene while third. Goodbye, Greg is now fourth. Pemaquid Pete is next, then the Virginian and Mr. Nappy happy as they run to the top of the stretch. Opening quarter complete. It was quick and contentious, and here's Cryogenic bidding up on the outside to challenge for the lead, cutting the corner. Kyle now on to take over. Back to third Apache Brave. Goodbye, Greg. Just didn't fire his best shot. We're down to Kyle and Cryogenic. Kyle is digging in. He's dead game up front. Cryogenic pushing by on the outside. This is going to get close. It goes to Cryogenic. That's a late surge victory for Cryogenic. He nailed Kyle in the last strides. Goodbye, Drake, third in 56 and 1. And that wraps up Friday's card. We're back here on Saturday with a 12-race card. It's our first race post is 12 noon, and it is Belmont Stakes Day. And, of course, we'll all be rooting for Curl and Florida Derby winner Tis the Law in the Belmont Stakes. Lots of action. Follow us on firstbet.com. ExpressBet.com and of course GulfstreamPark.com. Get your wages in early. It's going to be a fantastic day. We'll see you here tomorrow at noon. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Well, I'm tired. Let me tell you, Jack. I'm so tired.